Mr. Merida. Mr. Collins. We die. I know, we've made it. We've, we've made got it. <laughs> two weeks to go. I know, isn't that crazy? Assessment time, everyone's getting busy. Make sure you're putting in as much effort as you can. Yeah. You can't let those last eight weeks of school go to waste. Keep on going and finish strong, guys. Absolutely. Finishing strong, it's all about finishing at the end of at the line. Not finishing here, but finish at the line. Absolutely, all the way through. Um, this is nice. What's this? <laughs> Mr. Bennett, are you okay? I am okay. Are you okay? You know what? I am. I've had a bit of a, a bit of a struggle every now and then. I had a bit of a bad week seven, week eight, mm -hmm. but I'm back. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. And thank you for asking. That's, that's what we do. Um, and the, at Belmont Park for this week, mm -hmm. and you know, throughout the year, yeah. not just this week, at, but Belmont Park, we care for each other's mental health. I think that's important. Oh, gee was it's so important. And, and you know what? Um, it's all about uh, not just asking the question on the day, mm. but continuing to ask that question. Absolutely. Because you, a lot of people just go, how are you going? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And that's not an in-depth conversation. No. That's not a check-in. That's not really seeing how someone's going. Especially if you care for that person. Yeah. And, and are you okay when we phrase it that way? We make sure we do it in the right way. We can actually just check in and see how someone's traveling. Yeah. Mr. Meredith, can I ask you, what do you do? To look after your mental health. Um, look, if I need to tune out, I'll um, I'll jump on uh, PlayStation and uh, maybe meet up with Mr. <laughs> Caron. We'll go and find ourselves in the Gulag once again. Um, you know, if, or I might go for. I like to go outside, like to do bushwalking and stuff. Yeah. That's another little hobby of mine. So either outdoors or if I need to, be indoors, just just to relax and just focus on something completely different for a little bit. Yeah. What about you? What do you do? I exercise. Nice. The, the, the minute I'm feeling a little bit down, I just go and I go for a run, or I I go for a walk, or I yeah. go to gym. Nice. It, it just clears my head. Yeah, those endorph ones are great. You know, switch you back into a happy mood. It's a, yeah. That's a really cool strategy. Absolutely. So, Mr. Meredith, I went around the school mm -hmm. and uh, last week, and I got a whole bunch of teachers to give me their opinion. These teachers, they're specialists in this. Cool. They, they really know what they're talking about. So, I thought we'd go and have a look at what they had to say. Brilliant. Let's have a look. How do you look after and care for your own mental health? I like to go for runs. I like to hang out with my beautiful Oscar, take him for walks and pat him. He makes us all feel happy. Um, I like to eat healthy and I like to connect with my family and sometimes I just need to be alone and I just need to tell my friends and family that I just need a bit of time by myself. I like to go to the gym and eat well. I also like going on hikes and I take photos of things that I think are beautiful. Um, and I spend a lot of time cuddling my dogs. <laughs> what I enjoy doing in the afternoons is going for a walk around the lake or going for a run or it can even involve meeting up with some friends and um, see, you know just talking to them talking to them about asking them how their, how their day was and, and all that. Um, I look after my mental health by making sure I eat well. Um, I go to the gym a few times a week and I make sure I get plenty of sleep and I try and catch up with friends and socialize with them. Fantastic. And what advice would you give to Year 9 students at the school uh, in order to look after their mental health? Um, it will probably just to be stay active, be outdoors, spending some time with friends, making really good choices when we are outside, um, to be making sure that we're getting a really good sleep at night time so we're not staying on our phones really too late because I can see how that affects students in the classroom and making sure that we're eating a good balanced food. So there's four building blocks to good mental health. And anyone who's come to speak to me about mental health knows this. Number one is sleep. You need to get a good night's sleep, eight, nine or ten hours, and you need to get off your screens. Number two is a good healthy diet. You need to cut out soft drink, you need to cut out energy drinks, you need to eat fruit and vegetables, and a good breakfast. Number three is exercise. Um, you need to make sure you're getting outside and doing something physical every day, even if it's just going for a walk. Number four is your social connections. You need to make sure that you are connecting positively with your family and friends, and that means face-to-face, -face, not just online. Um, to look after your mental health, I think that finding things that you really enjoy, if you've got some hobbies, and prioritising that as well, so giving yourself time to do it, I think it's really good. So what I would recommend doing is finding something that, um, that interests you, so it could be a hobby, a sport, or even joining a local um, chess club. Okay, for example, just something that you enjoy doing and it also promotes you to, um, to be happy and safe and um, you know, enjoy, that, enjoy that extracurricular activity that you do. 
That was great. Wasn't that excellent? Such good advice. I know. We've got some really sage, wise people who work at this college. Um, I really liked what Ms. Egan had to say. Yeah, the stuff about the sugar. Mm. Yeah, don't eat so much sugar. <laughs> it's my it's my big battle cry <laughs> at the school. Hey. <laughs> Look, I've seen you do it. I believe in you. It'll happen. Yeah. So, Thursday, are you okay though? And remember, don't just say it for this day. Continue to check in with your friends. Look after each other. This is what we are. We are a community. We look after each other. Absolutely. Um, and when you're doing the, the lesson, make sure you listen to some of those, um, those ways to respond when someone shares something with you because that's all about being a positive listener and helping that person when you're checking in on them. It's really important. Fantastic. Listen, guys, as always, thank you so much. Week 10 is coming around the corner. Finish strong. Finish strong. Give it your best shot. You guys have got this. We believe in you. As always, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next yes. week with uh, the final video. It is. This turn. I was about to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <everyone>. Bye. <laughs>